That's probably how I would write this up. I've got a sidewalk for generations uh, at East Boundary and Buford Street. Probably what I'll put there is, is uh, estimate costs, bring a recommendation back to council uh, with a cost estimate and a funding source. You know, and then y'all could decide how you want to pursue it. Tell you what, Greg White wanted me to say annexation for him, so <laughs> we'll, we'll let him use that one. But uh, seek uh, specific revenue uh, improvements to the town operation, i.e., hospitality tax. Okay. Going to write a hospitality tax, or we'll come back if you guys want to. Okay, so you want to implement a hospitality tax. Okay. Some kind of signage. So people will know exactly where the library is and where the town hall is. So, some wayfinding signage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you think about the, the systems you see in some cities where they've got the city's brand, you know, logo system, and then they've got directional signs for city hall, the courthouse, the library. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, because we're almost 
kind of way of just letting them yeah. in the library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so that's just the beginning of it. Mike, I want to, to remove any parts of the code book that, that were not put there by Okay. Um, Lots of things have been changed and removed and added. Without a pre previous ordinance. Okay. okay. So code sections that are are technically pending until council adopts the codification by ordinance. So and you want those removed? And I want things that have been added without a referendum that was voted by the council. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, Pass an ordinance to establish all of the positions that have been created in the last three years. As required by state code 572. I'm on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I give one for Greg? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Greg would like to see us acquire the uh, uh, community theater, the now defunct community theater. And, and you can put that ex sidewalk oh, yeah. extension up there. I mean, it's not done, so I mean, I think yeah, seeing that through yeah. yeah. is fine. Yeah. We've got the sidewalk extension. It's hard to improve. It's an Fund is funded. Okay. We, we should be done this summer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll be putting sidewalks on, have both sidewalks on both sides. Okay. From uh, Peach Street to say tanks here, right? Uh, I'll say to the, to the railroad tracks. I'll call me over. Side wants to come this way. On the left hand side, which one on both sides. Oh. Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. I, mean, I, I see what you're saying. Well, Fargo. Right. The, uh, Lexington Avenue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there to consistently stay within the budget? We've not exceeded the budget in a year. So you're saying consistently stay within the budget? Well, or, the, yes. or continue, continue to stay, continue within, to the stay within the budget without additional subcontracts? We don't want a lot of revenue. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'd like to see us go ahead and develop the uh, historic district downtown. Okay. You know, that signage. History gathered up and books written up. Okay. okay. I'd like to see the council uh, initiate, self initiate communication uh, with the uh, mayor and, and town hall staff on uh, a more regular basis, engage in what's going on, mm -hmm. and uh, offer to contribute items that will improve the community instead of uh, continuing to say we don't need to do this and we don't need to do that. Uh, most of the items that they presented today, uh, except Robbie, Kay and Mike, is what they don't want to happen with the town. And I think alluding to your conversation is that what are the things we want to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make the community better? Okay. okay. Write that one up. Yeah. Um, do you think work sessions might be helpful? If the focus of the work sessions was purely. Uh, uh, I would say. Uh, Improve work sessions. Okay. Uh, or initiate and engage in work sessions, perhaps. Okay. Uh, on, on councils. Okay. Okay. 
ticker we can say town so. uh, uh, This is probably probably no DOP thing, but how can we encourage them to see if we can get the traffic light Lexington and Columbia Avenue or even on Clark and Columbia Avenue and Peach Street. Okay. Uh, you can tell them Peach Street since there's no intersect. It can be done. Mm -hmm. Well, let me say this. I think those, which is a great idea, uh, I think these items. It's almost a new section. Uh, as I understand it, from other municipalities, uh, they use certain revenues uh, to provide the road construction to alleviate congestion. Mm -hmm. In essence, you're saying some of that can increase better traffic flow. Still, still we, we know there's an issue, uh -huh. yeah. but, but that's not that's the solution to yeah. getting them done. It's the funding. Yeah, although, you know, and you may have already been down this road. We okay. have been, yeah. Okay, so you've asked for the lights before? Huh? So, so y'all oh, asked yeah, for the yeah, lights yeah. before? And, and the traffic, and they the traffic studies on the Columbia Avenue you still offer, but improving the intersection, uh -huh. aside from the traffic light, can, still needs to be addressed. Are you on traffic light there or the car crosses the mm -hmm. road? Right, right. Uh, this does not sound negative, but I don't want the council members to be able to see the bank statements. I don't mean pass out a report. I mean, go talk to her. I want to see it. Okay, okay. Train depot. Town property rotated. I'd like to, to uh, see the council. Sidewalks, Robbie's brought sidewalks up several times. Is, is there any large scale planning with respect to additional sidewalks? Or, well, because we, we, we focus on a couple of specific examples. Yeah, uh, the, the town uh, staff has uh, looked at areas to improve sidewalks or mm -hmm. to add sidewalks. The problem is that you don't want to spend a whole lot of time on these projects if you don't have the money to do it. Because all you're doing is just spinning the wheels. Sure, yeah. And the town uh, council, and I think it's evident today, is that, uh, with the exception of Robbie, is that there's, there's no improvement to the town's uh, infrastructure. It's all relative to town code. And, and that's not what we're here to, to do. We're here to uh, you know, promote the community, provide you know, uh, improvements to the community, sustainability for healthy situations, things that individuals can't do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm really surprised that uh, Mike has 
not offering anything uh, that's uh, planning for the future. Anybody for the I think, uh, I think your, your comments about uh, Rodney's comments about the sack, the uh, street lights. The fact that the street lights at the intersections put stoplights in there uh, was something that we couldn't afford to do. All of the other things that I would like to see done that uh, are part of that survey are stuff that require money that we don't have. So that's right. That's right. But we could have it. But you all aren't willing to make an effort to do this, to reinvest in the community. Cannot continue to work on the same budget. I've shared that with y'all many times. So that's why I didn't. You know, all of those, all of these things that we talked about, park and, and uh, sidewalks, down the foot the green, and all that other stuff. All that's good stuff, and I would like to see it. But I'm not. In, I'm not in favor of a hospitality tax for us to be doing all of that stuff. So uh, we don't have the money. We don't have the funds. We need to take that out of reduce expenses instead of you know, figure out how to spend more. Okay, you see a budget every month. Tell me how to reduce expenses specifically. That can be an item on this chart. Reduce the expenses. Absolutely. Um, I mean, in terms of it being an item, yeah. How do we reduce expenses? Okay. In what area? It's evaluate reducing expenses. No, no. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. And bring recommendations. Can't wait. Okay. Is there a target? Any target? You got to be realistic. You got to keep your. You got to be mindful of your current resources and what your likely future resources are going to be. But I also think sometimes you can't let current resources unduly affect your vision. And I think about some of the projects that I, I was involved with. And I don't mean I like I did them, but I mean I was just part of the team that did them. When I was with the city, you know, we really didn't let the vision get affected by the fact that we had no clue how we can move forward on financially. I mean, the Opera House is an example of that. You know, the uh, renovation of that huge mill and, and the revitalization of that neighborhood. You know, there's just several different projects. But I'll tell you, one of the, the principles that really worked pretty well for us on those is we didn't take a shotgun approach. We identified what it was that we wanted to accomplish and we put our resources into it. And we got that done and we moved on to the next one. And it seems to me, just in, in traveling around, uh, not that I know it all or have all the answers or anything like that, but it seems to me that some of the towns, a common thread among some that are struggling, is that they're taking the shotgun approach. When they really looks to me like they just need to boil down what it is that they want to be and one or two things that they can do to try to accomplish that and just put all of their resources into it. And part of that process is being engaged to determine what your niche or what you want your niche to be. Yeah, uh, part of the process is, is understanding that uh, you know, certain things cost money, mm -hmm. uh, certain things you can have that it's not, which you can't do. And it's what you feel like you would like to do to set you apart, to uh, create sustainability mm -hmm. in a community. Uh, if you do nothing, it'll die.
So are you talking about those sites to having a walking historical tour? Oh, uh, where yeah. sidewalks? Where, where, where is it down there where you need sidewalks? Oh, yeah, sidewalks. Uh, that's would it be the gas? Yes. Yeah, okay. Or the gas? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and, and I can't speak for y'all. Y'all are not thinking on this. But this is just my favorite. Is how can we go about having a better working relationship with Lake and County Council? I don't know. I might be wrong, but that's just the way I feel. I feel like we're. I, I've grown up here all my life, and I, we've basically felt like this has been, we've been redheaded stepchildren mm -hmm. to do that. Um, but yes, it's going to be based basically on that yeah, population. I think the big question is uh, to really fully understand the council's position is uh, if they want economic growth or not in the town. You got a lot of rooftops in town. What, what about you know commercial or even uh, manufacturing development? You know, is, is that is that a priority? I think we'd like to see some, some businesses come in. They want to go with that other way. Yeah. And they would be sort of a basic employer. They're not, a, they're not retail, right? They're just, they provide service. They're a major employer. Plus, we have the technology for it. I'm not sure how that is developed. What you have to do to attract stuff to that. Did the county state the lead? In terms of it's marketing it's properties, it's, well, it's, yeah. it's their Kings County property. It's not. It's not in the town limits. Oh, it's, is is the is the tension development and change? Is that? I mean, in terms of are there concerns about development because there's you don't want the community to change? Is that is that an issue? It's an issue for a lot of people who talk to me. Uh, <laughs> Change is already going on in the community. Right. They don't like changing the way it is. So they don't want to see change. Yeah. I mean, don't want to get another one. Yeah. Yeah. I think it could change slowly and more acceptable. Mm -hmm. Here's the legend. So must do's are green, should okay. do's are blue, and could do's are red. Okay. All right. So and with our must do's, our number one must do, appoint an attorney. Appoint a municipal attorney. Yes, sir. Um, all right, I've lost it. Where is the other? Do we have a tie? Looks like. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Our, our second is adopt the recodified ordinances without the references to the new positions. Okay. It's a tie, it's it tied with our second must do. Uh, complete, continue the analysis of these annexation strategies and bring recommendations to council. Our third uh, must do was implementing the hospitality tax and staff developing the list of projects that would be funded with it. Um, And that was it for the for okay. the uh, must do's. Okay, our should do's, which are the blue. Okay. Uh, the number one is the historic brochure. Okay. Um, the number two was wayfinding, implementing the signage system with the city's logo on it. Okay. Uh, and then it was tied with 
the um, recurring appointment to review the bank statements. Okay. And then our third should do is preparing an ordinance establishing all of the positions that have been added over the last three years. Okay. And it was tied with limit spending within the budget to levels consistent with recurring revenues. Okay. Uh, then our final tier of priorities are could do's, which are red, and these were a little clearer. Uh, number one is the sidewalk from uh, Generations to Beaufort Street. Uh, the number two could do is relocate the train depot to town owned property. And then we had a tie for the three could do remove sections in the proposed recodification that were added during the process. Um, and it was tied with moving forward with the downtown park. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Yes, sir.